Now in the next part of this question, we're asked to find the rate of increase of the volume when x is 2. So when we have this phrase here, what we're basically being asked to do is to find then the rate of change of the volume, which I'll call v, so it's dv by dt. Now as I said earlier, when we get a rate of change and we need to connect it with other rates of change, what I do is I write dv there times and I put dt down there. So what I'm looking for is a variable to put in here, a rate of change in here that is exactly the same. What would that be? Well, in this question, it's going to have to be dx. So I put dx there, OK? Now, we already know dx by dt. We worked that out in the previous part of the question. Let me just remind you that we already know that dx by dt, the rate of change of the radius, at any time t was given by 0.032 all divided by 2 pi x. So I can pop that in here when the time comes. Now for this rate of change, the rate of change of the volume with x, I need to find a formula that connects volume with x. Well the volume of a cylinder is given by v equals the area of the cross section which is pi r squared or in this case pi x squared and that is multiplied by the length so that's multiplied by 5x so therefore we have v equals 5 pi x cubed. So when it comes to finding dv by dx, dv by dx, if we were to differentiate this, would be 15 pi x squared. So I'll pop that in there, 15 pi x squared. And as I said earlier, we multiply this with dx by dt, the value that we established in part a of the question. So we'll multiply that then with 0.032 over 2 pi x. Now we've got to find the rate of change of the volume when x is 2. So all I need to do now is just simply put when x is 2 and to substitute it into this equation. So we therefore have dv by dt equals 15 pi times 2 squared multiplied by 0.032 all over 2 pi times another 2. Some of you might have seen that the pi's cancel and the x cancel, so this is a bit over the top, but I leave it to you just to work this out any way that you choose, but at the end of the day what you should end up with is an exact value and that exact value is 0.48 and we should put the units in, the volume is measured in centimetre cubes and th this is a rate of change of volume so it's growing at a rate of 0.48 centimetre cubes per second. And That brings us to the end of this question.